and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. You feel the leaf and it's kind of rough. It's the right thing. This is trailing arbutus, not that. So the leaf will be rough, trailing arbutus. And the name's quite accurate. It doesn't even get over a stick that big. I mean, it's on the ground. Okay, so now this one, this is why I'm saying you just gotta get the right name with the right one. What to look for here, it's a much, it's a bigger leaf, it's rough, and it has a heart-shaped base. Not a heart-shaped leaf, the base is like the top of a heart. Quite strong heart-shaped base. No, no, no smell. And it has a fuzzy little kind of golden brown berry. Now this thing gets, uh, this would be a nice plant like in a rock garden. It gets a very pretty flower in the middle of the spring that's uh, pinkish, sometimes almost white to almost red, averaging pink. But some of them are more brilliant than others and some are almost almost white. But you could, you know, in a dry area of the garden, you know, and rocks and stuff would be a cool thing uh, to landscape with. It's related, okay, it just creeps on the ground, but it's related to several shrubs out west that get, like, big, that it's, you know, like our rhododendrons, there's just thickets of this genus, other plants, and you have to climb your way through them out in Oregon and Washington, Northern California. Um, but this is our little eastern one, fairly in our beauty. Uh, they will get, I, I don't even see flower buds here, they'll get clumps of flower buds.